see that there. We need a little, we need a damper fucking light behind us, don't we? Fucking hell, I don't is that a fucking thing? Yeah, don't mention it, but that's flat as fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, guys. Well, we are back. How are we all doing, guys? Those keys have to go, the noise is fucking get on my nose with the fucking use this. Yeah. There you go, I <laughs> Right, we're back. We came up there with we go. a new video idea, um, getting some inspiration about different genres of videos, shall we say. Now we're yes. going to be doing a bit of a taste test. A uh, bit of alcohol taste test. Alcohol <laughs> taste test, so obviously an 18 plus video. Um, of course, of course. We never used to be into ales, but we've started going out a bit more. Some of our friends Having a bit of drink, you know, drink ales, go, we've go. got into it. So we're going to have it, there's six ales in here. Let's have a look. Struth! What they are. So, we have the go. Ringwood, I can't remember. Ringwood Razorback, an Ooh. amber ale. Amber ale? Right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, do a bit of a... I'm not going to read out the taste and the food. The alcohol is 3.6%. So it's, it's, it's a bit on the low side. They're all relatively the same. Uh, we've got a Marston's Pedigree, which is an amber, at uh, 4.5%. Pretty, uh, pretty good one. A Lancaster Bomber, Ooh, uh, oh, an amber ale, good. a 4.4%. With a name like that, you would expect a high percentage. Yeah. But we've got a Jennings Cumberland, which is just an ale, at uh, 4% okay. volume. Not bad. A, uh, I don't know how you say this. It's a, a Brass Spear brass Bitter. Spe yeah, Brass Spear. Which doesn't have any bitter thing on it. It's just, that's it. It's just bitter. Uh, which is 3.4, so that's the lowest wow. that I've got on here. The lowest, yeah. And then we've got a Hobgoblin, which I'm sure everyone's heard about. Oh, this yeah. is the biggest name in the box, a it Ruby is. Beer. 5.2. 5.2%, uh, yeah. which Big is 2.6 units of alcohol. Um, Plenty. So, so crack it on open. We'll start with the, the lightest beer. Um, yeah. Just to get it out of the way, and we'll build up by percentage. So first off, we'll be starting with the Brax for Bitter. However you call it. Obviously we've got our bar snacks. We've got a lovely selection of bar snacks. Got uh, some crisps, some nuts, some beef jerky. Different uh, flavours. Yeah, different flavours. So we thought we'd make a bit more effort with the video. Indeed. Uh, got a nice can. Some racks. Nope. Got some Got our glasses as well. Yeah, really racks. Yeah. So a nice bottle to start with. Very nice bottle. Move this out of the way. Got our tankards. It's a very nice bottle. Uh, so, two tankards, two little half tankards to uh, yep. taste. Let's crack it on open. That. We'll have the uh, keep the bottle tops. Keep the bottle tops. Right. So, does it smell like? Smells like beer. Well, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> obviously. Oh. Ooh. So you don't go to a bar, you know. If you go to a good bar, there should be crisps on the table. There should be nuts. Beef jerky maybe, that's usually something behind the bar that you have to buy, or uh, pork, pork, pork scratchings, scratchings yeah. but neither of us like those. Uh, particularly now. But anyway, right, so, let's uh, pour away, pour a little drop, shall we? I say a drop, I, I give a good drop. I probably should tilt my glass, but... Bear in mind we don't like these. Or I might not like these, shall I say. That's true. But anyway, there we go. Right. If you don't have an initial taste, I'm just going to grab something to throw the excess into if we don't like it. Okay, okay. So, well, we need a crew, but. Working on a budget. <laughs> anyway. There you go. Budweiser bucket, not sponsored. Anyway, there we go. So as we said, this is the uh, the Brax for bitter. Yep. Just three point set off for a minute. Three point four, which is the uh, the lowest, the lowest scoring. Uh, well, lowest scoring. Lowest percentage. <laughs> lowest percentage being. Percentage of, of nice and lively. Uh, next time we'll it's got a nice colour actually. I'll pour it. I'll pour, I'll pour it properly next. Time. So we'll give a bit of. Uh, if you want to, you, you can go ahead. I'm just going to read this. Okay, out. go on. Amber in colour, which is. Evidently right, so they got that bit right. The initial taste of the malt, uh, 
hoppy hopped bitterness dissolves into a bitter sweet and fruity finish. They've got that spot on actually, it's very very nice. Um, it's quite nice and refreshing actually, I quite like it. I don't think I could have too many. No, uh, it's nice. The initial taste that hits you, it just tastes like San Miguel. Um, no, but that's just me. Yeah, 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 I know what you're coming from. But, uh, I get that. But the aftertaste is quite nice. They've definitely mm. got it uh, with the fruity finish. They've nailed that. Yeah, there. there's no doubt about that. Uh, They've got the fruity finish. Very fruity towards the end. Mm. I did. <laughs> right, yeah. I like it. Um, obviously, this is just the this is, point. Yeah, that's right. This true. is the first one. Yeah. I've got nothing to compare against just yet. Yeah, true. Uh, ah, ah. Oh, it tells us what food to have it with. Uh, I deal with the traditional uh, fish and chips. Or ploughman's lunch. Ooh, right, so there you go. We don't have any of those. We don't have any of them. We've got some crisps. crisps. <laughs> well, anyway, fish and chips is the um, recommended next food. And recommended choice. choice. Have it with. So, next up, if you want to. Yeah, we'll, we'll put this over it. Kit on over there. We'll do it in a. We're going to do it in order. system. Maybe. So, that's zero. <laughs> that one's at the forefront, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try this after this. Biltong. Mm. I'm going to have a bit of this now. So this one was a Thai, Thai chilli flavour Biltong. Quite nice in a weird sort of way. I mean, I can, it's definitely in a quiet yeah, taste. You either like it or you don't. That's very true, yeah, you do. Mm. I like that. This one's nice. This one. What was this one? Lime and something. Lime and chilli. Lime and chilli. Oh okay. yeah, it's nice. Mm. You've got a little sense of lime and then a chilli just kicks in around it. It's nice. So we're in wood razor back. Put it out straight away. Bingo. This is an exceptionally refreshing amber craft ale. Uh, by the Ringwood Brewery, so we'll be the judges of that one. <laughs> we will. Indeed. Uh, these have only been on the shelf. I don't know whether they're supposed to go in the fridge first. Uh, That's true, actually. These aren't cold. These are room temperature. Uh, there is a way to get a free t-shirt here. Is it? You've got to get 10 and 5 codes. Oh. We're not interested in that. No. So this is the original Bill Tong. Uh, oh. It's a lot tougher than the rest of them. Yeah, it is. Fucking struth. You use your fucking bowls to get to this one. <laughs> Indeed. It's not bad though. It's not bad. This middle one's my favourite. Ooh, it's quite lively. The lime and chilli. I can't smell anything but the fucking bill song in there. <laughs> Completely different smell on that. Yeah, it has. It's... Oh, yeah, it's completely different, isn't it? Anyway, I don't like that original built on, I like the flavour more. Yeah. It's a uh, paper. Just give me a notification about something. Whatever the change is. Alright, so there we go. And then centre ones again. Very. Yeah. Very lively colour. <laughs> it is. Uh, what does it say about this one? What's this? The Ringwood Razorback. Yeah. Uh, it's got a kick to it, that. <laughs> it has, yeah. You can definitely Great with the classic, <laughs> classic British fare, such as Toad in the Hole. Again, mm. don't have Toad in the Hole. You know, no. Got, got Bill Tong, which I think is beef. <laughs> you would assume so. <laughs> uh, ideal balance of hoppiness and malt. This is an easy drinking thirst quencher and it's perfect beer for all occasions. Okay. So they've, they've definitely they definitely put themselves with that statement 
They've got a lot to live up for. Let's see if they've over-promised or under-delivered. Oh. Mm. Oh. I don't know if that's the built on, but I do not like that whatsoever. No. It's... It's alright. But I'd probably, if, 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 I, if I had one, I'd have one, that's it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get another. I doubt if I had one of these, I'd finish it. The first one, I would finish. Hmm. But this one, I'd, I'd maybe get another, but this one, I would not. I would not finish, and I definitely wouldn't get another. It's not got the best. It's not got the best taste. Like initial taste, or... Or aftertaste. Sounds like they've overpromised. Uh, and they've not really delivered. The ideal bounce of hoppiness and malt. Uh, I mean, the hoppiness, it might be my glass, but this ain't fucking hopping. <laughs> this this rabbit's great. been hit by a car. <laughs> not hopping anymore. <laughs> it's a dead rabbit. Yeah, I'm, I'm really. No, I'm trying. I'm really not a fan of this. No. I don't think I'm going to finish this. It says it take a long time to craft the rail, so it'll <laughs> take fucking longer. <laughs> that one, that yeah. one, that one is definitely... At the back of the queue. At the back. Yeah, bit of it. Well, into the bucket of waste. If we had a crew, we'd do an after show, and one of them would have to down this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that'd be funny. That'd be a good video. Yeah. No, let's have some nuts. What we have next? These nuts. <laughs> so, what's Gen next? Jennings Cumberland. Bingo. I was just waiting for him to drop it in. <laughs> Superbly refreshing. Deep gold nail. Excellent. So, hopefully this won't go out right now. Don't be a bastard. All smelt the same so far. <laughs> well, like we should have some water, shouldn't we? Yeah, stand by just to cleanse the palate. But I can't smell anything from this. It's the same. Get those crisps over here. Anyway, right. Let's let's have a little pour. Let's see. Uh, Give me a bit less. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to waste. So, I'm, I'm so disliked, but I'm a massive fan of first in. No, but bit is bit. <laughs> so a different colour. It's a bit lighter, isn't it, than the rest? You could say on the bottle a gold nail. That's very true. Not amber. So they got that right. Um, Golden ale with unique character and slight citrus aftertaste. Um, finally, I deal with a barbecue or authentic Cumberland sausage. So we right. got, we've got pulled pork barbecue crisps. Here we go. Right, we've got to like this one then. This, no, this got to get closest, this good. That's the closest we can get. I do like my barbecue. So. That's much nicer. Mm. That's much nicer. So this one's 4%. Yes. Pardon me. This one's much nicer than the other two. I could definitely have a couple of these. No, only 4% as well. Could have a few when you wouldn't even, you wouldn't even feel. It's not bad, that. You would eventually, obviously. Yeah. I think I could have a couple of these with a barbecue. Nice if barbecue. If they were nice, iced and cold, yeah. and they had their, their, the condensation dripping from the bottle, it'd be perfect. Um, it would. It's definitely the nicest one so far. It is. Definitely. Yeah, it. <laughs> uh, mm. So obviously, number one there. It's going straight out the front of the list. Uh, obviously, that fucking Razorback thing. This Razorback's just naff. Should just be off camera. <laughs> anyway, Hold what on. have we got next? Back order. Just to conclude. Obviously, we've done three. 
We've got three more yet to go. Now, the Razorback just naff. That's what we both think in our opinion. Just, it's not worth it, is it? Not worth having it. Not worth buying it. Don't bother. Um, and then this one. I could have a couple of these there. Uh, Crumbling. Definitely. So anyway, what have we got up next? Lancashire Bombers next. Uh, Bomber. Class, best of British. Okay. The type is full body, amber ale. Chestnut in colour. A chestnut in colour? Uh, uh, full body flavour. Quite dark. Then, enriched with a wonderful late hot character. This has won multi awards. Uh, and pays tribute to the Avro Lancashire. And it's quite simply the British best of British beer. This one's a 4.4%. Apparently the best of the best of British beer. So, right, well, if that is true, out. we should like it. We definitely should. Uh, nicest bottle uh, so far. But the dullest cap. This one's just a silver cap. The rest of them have nice uh, animals and patterns and stuff on. Oh, different smell on this one. I like how it's got an airplane for the first nice. time. Oh, yeah, that's not. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not. Well, slightly darker than the first few. It is. A different smell to the first few. Uh, it is. It's, it's a bit stronger, isn't it? It's like um, it's got a much stronger smell actually. Ah, oh. a great partner with pulled pork. Man, here we go, pulled right. pork crisp. Here we go. If it's good, I've got to like it because right. I fucking love pulled pork. You start. No, you I bloody need, worry. I need to get fucking fucked again. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get the rest of them in my show, I do what I want. <laughs> 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 yep. We don't have a crew yet, so there you go, anyway. Well, if they did, they'd like this programme, because we're having a lot of food. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Pull, pull. Here we go. Top up the crisps. That's it. Get that crisp down, yeah. That, by far, is my favourite at the moment. That is just so nice and refreshing. It just goes down so easily, just with the pulled pulp crisps. Wonderful late hop, it says. So let's have a try. Just in summer, I could see myself having some pulled pork burger in the garden, just relaxing. Have a nice cold beer. Oh, that's nice, yeah. It is <laughs> really nice, nice that. Crisp, especially with the crisps. Just imagine. You eat a pork pork burger. There you are. You know, think of, oh, this burger's nice. But the sun's out, the bread's drying out the mouth. You want to refresh yourself? That's the fucking beer to go with. What the fuck's it called? Lancashire Bomber. <laughs> Lancashire Bomber. Get out there, on you. Now, it doesn't say anything about citrus, but I'm sure I can taste a bit of citrus at the end of it. Mm. Try that and just go suck it down. I'm sure I can taste citrus or something. Now you mention it, I've got a, a hint, a slight hint of it. Well, that might just be my glass or something, like from the, from the previous drinks. Yeah, that's true. But I'm sure there's citrus in there somewhere. If it doesn't say it on the box, I mean, even though the, the, the previous ones have not tasted the best, they've got the taste and the aftertaste bang on, so I'm not going to say that this is wrong and this is an aftertaste, so I'm guessing it's my class. Uh, you guys in the comments have tried this beer, and you feel the same, let me know. I hope to say what you got to say about well, where would this get? Fucking first, obviously. First, first, of course. 
Right. So Marston's pedigree is next. Uh, is not that one. There oh. we go. A 4.5% amber ale, bottle conditioned. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> ah, what's with the bottle conditioning? Perfect. Contain live yeast. Right, so this is a proper craft. Right, okay. Craft ale. This is the. None of these have been proper yeast containing craft ales as, as yet. Um, well, this is one of. So this is like a proper craft ale, not just a fucking. They all say the craft classic, classic ales, but yeah. this is the. This is the king of the king, I suppose. Uh, top of the top. Best and the best. yeast smooths and enhances the depth of flavour over time. Uh, so, also the longer it stays yeah. bottled, the better it's going to taste. Well, I'm guessing they keep it in the bottle for a certain amount of time before they fucking. Before yeah, they, and then obviously they they put it out. So, it's got a nice cap on this one. Uh, obviously, with the yeast being in, it's not very lively. Be careful how you pour these as well. Yeah, incredibly, incredibly slowly. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's very nice. Fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Even if we didn't have the beer, I'd just enjoy sitting here and eating crisps. <laughs> That's true, we just have a little game, a talk show, wouldn't we? A little talk game show. Yeah. Oh! Now this is my kind of beer. What do you think it's perfect with? Guessing on my... Does it, yeah? What do you think? <laughs> my, the food that I like to eat. Very Sweet chilli? No, very uh, expensive. Very, uh, very upper class of steak. Perfect with steak. There we go. Perfect Here we steak. go. So... Anything that says perfect with steak. <laughs> well, you got us too. It's got to be good. Yeah, exactly. It's got to be good. If it isn't, Marston's pedigree. <laughs> You're going downhill <laughs> very quickly. Right. Uh, so closer to a cast pedigree. Uh, fascinating aroma, which it does have. Mm -hmm. uh, Indeed. Parts of biscuity malt, spicy hops and fruitiness. So this one... It's selling itself large here, saying, well, I've got big balls and I want you to know about it. So it's got three different things here. Let's see if we can put a finger on all of them. So the aroma, they've got that. We've got the aroma, yeah. So the spicy hops and fruitiness. So let's have a taste. It's got a bit of fruitiness. And the aftertaste. This one's weird. Well, I think the aroma is just sort of like, it's just like, don't really know what I'm doing here. <laughs> the aroma's weird, like. It is. Do they, I don't think you can make its mind up what, <laughs> what it's doing. Like, yeah. Like, as, it might be all glasses. Because I'd say we haven't washed them out or anything, but. You smell this. Put it down. Smell it again. Fucking smells like it's gone west. It's a, yeah. It's a completely different smell. Uh, you know, it's just perfect with steak, but it's not. It's not. I wouldn't say it's top. It's not poking me with the stick. Yeah, I know. Uh, definitely think the the Spitfire or the Lancashire Bomb, whatever it's called. Yeah, Lancashire Bomb. That was a bit better. Yeah, uh, I'd have to agree. That's. I'd probably put it second or yeah, third. Yeah, I'd go third. third. I still think Jennings Cumberland's a Yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, I get the fruitiness at the end, but the spicy hops, I'm not, I'm not picking up. Mm. There's a sort of a slight initial spice, but then it sort of just dissipates within it. It does. Within it. As soon as, so it's soon just as like it goes your mouth, and then it's gone. Yeah. It's like cotton candy. As soon as it goes on mm. your tongue, it's just dissolved, it's gone. Yeah, it is. Uh, so yeah, that was four point five percent that one. Uh, the second, it's obviously second to fucking most powerful beer in the box. Uh, 
at 4.5%. This one now, Hobgoblin, everyone, the biggest Bob name Bob in the box, uh, Indeed. jumps to a massive 5.2%. Indeed. Uh, try to get most of this out. So what we contaminate. So Hobgoblin. So the food with this one, what's recommended? A legendary match. Not just a match, a legendary match. Mm -hmm. With meat pies. Oh yeah. Lovely jubbly. Mm -hmm. Roasts. Oh yeah. Lovely jubbly. Okay. And hamburgers. So that's like my three favourite foods right there. Basically. Everything you fucking Everything you makes. want and everything your nan makes is right there. And they're always the best when your nan makes them. You know my brother-in-law. Well, brother-in-law to be. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, likes Hobgoblin a lot. He's always got it in the fridge. Yeah, he has. Uh, Wishwood Brewery. 5.2%, uh, obviously. Let's have a full bodied ruby beer with a chocolate and toffee malt flavour. Ooh. Uh, balanced by a bitter, overall fruity, mischievous character. So, this one, this one's going to be a party for your taste buds. First, you've got chocolate, and then you've got toffee, and Good. then you've got final, Get final fruity taste. Uh, nice bottle. I like the shape. It's got the. Uh, like a witch engraved into the bottle. Obviously the goblin on the front. Is that going to be a goblin on the uh, engraved? Don't like it. Oh no, yeah, that's going to be a witch actually. Yeah. I could just have a beer anyway. <laughs> very, very dark beer. A lot darker than the rest. A very dark beer. So that'll be the, the toffee and the chocolate that we're looking at. Yep. Oh, well, that's got a nice aroma. Does it say anything about the aroma? I don't know. It doesn't. Doesn't it? Doesn't say anything about the aroma. Alright, okay. Here we are. There you go. This, you know you're getting good quality when you smell this anyway. So I'd say 5.8% this one. Lovely taste. Fruity taste. I like that, I really like that. Oh. That is just, just kick back and all gobble. Mm. Lovely smell. Lovely initial taste. Very nice smell. Lovely <laughs> aftertaste. It's got all three in it. <laughs> it's just. Ruby beer with chocolate toffee. I'm going to have a little sips to see if I can decipher the, the different points of this. I was going to say, yeah, because I can't really taste any. I get the toffee. Yeah. But when you take little sips and you you and you literally go like a, book, like a rabbit <laughs> to take it apart. I don't get the chocolate. No, no, when you do, no, no, when you do that, there is a bit. You get like the, the slightest, and I mean the slightest little, um, what's the word, hint of chocolate. I can't pick that chocolate it's at all. It's very, you can taste the toffee. It's and very the, hard to, to feel it. You know, and the fruitiness at the end. I do like it, but I don't know if it's my favourite. No, I already know what my favourite is. Oh, Goblin's nice. It is. But so is the uh, Lancashire Bomber. Yeah, that's true. Uh, one of them's a ruby beer, one of them's an amber ale. Uh, exactly, so yeah, yeah. I think so, obviously these two are oh, the favourites at the moment. Oh, the favourites. Well, obviously they aren't in the same class, really. Yeah, which is why I'm having trouble picking one because the two different, different ales. Mm. They don't. They're trying to achieve different things. They have achieved them, but they're trying to achieve different fucking areas of yeah. the market. So obviously we've got hobgoblin, ruby beer, chocolate toffee, fruitiness, 
uh, oh, meat pies, roasts, hamburgers. Anything your nan cooks. Yeah. There you go. So that's nice. And the Lancashire Bomber. Uh, full body flavour, enriched with a wonderful late hop. Uh, partnered with pulled pork. Oh, yes. Uh, so they're two completely different ales. Uh, so, you know what? Well, I'm going to do something that's never been seen on the show before. Oh, no, here we go. Hey, when he just has his spare the moment I do. Oh, that's why I need a crew. Exactly. Hell's looking for a job as cameraman. <laughs> Producer, helper. Yeah, thing. come on. Send your CV to one of us on Facebook. Mm. And they rip it off. I don't know what the fuck that was, but there you go. Got my name on it, so. <laughs> no, it'd be mine. But anyway. Need a pen. Uh, we don't have a pen. <laughs> you want somewhere. Anyway, I'll see you having a look for that. <clears throat> I'm going to have some more bomber. <laughs> because I want some more pulled pork. But anyway. Just how vibrant it and just how, how it is and how it looks. It just so nice. How can we have a set with no pen? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway. On it, the bomber just smells so nice. But the just the beers are just too different. They are different because you haven't got the screwdriver, which is like a pen of you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but so <laughs> anyway. But um, oh, I just can't make my mind up. It's that one. Yep. Mm. It's bomber. Nice. Hard competition. So, well, just so. There's no, you know, uh, like cheating, I suppose. Uh, like, you know, when you do a, an exam in school or whatever, and that works. Uh -huh. Exam in school, that, that one works. Okay. We have this box between us, we're going to put scores down out of ten. Okay. So, first off, we'll do Hobgoblin. So, okay. Hob. We're going to base it out of, uh, out of ten. Out of ten, okay. But we're going to base it on these things here. How it ticks the boxes. Right, uh, okay. So, in terms of chocolate, how... Actually, you know what? We'll do it out of 30 for this one. Okay. So, how much can you taste the chocolate out of ten? How much can you taste the toffee out of ten? Right, okay. Uh, and so how much can you taste the fruitiness out of ten? Right, okay. So... So, and then obviously next we'll do the bomber, which is what? Uh, yeah, so bomber's what? Uh, uh, uh. Rich, wonderful late hop. So obviously we can't, it's hard because you can't, there's not three things to judge the, bo no. the bomber on. Uh, so you just judge it in general? Yeah. So it'll have to be out of 30? Mm. But this, then that turns unfair. You know what, we'll just do it out of, just do the hob out of 10. We'll do both yeah. of them out of 10. <coughs> right, we'll do it all out of 10 then. Right. So. Mm, I'm just going to have a bit of it. So the hob was nice. It was, it was a nice, uh, it was a nice beer. And obviously goes well with the hamburgers and the pies yeah. and everything. I'm thinking how much it's going to refresh me on a on summer's day. Um, yeah. Um, and obviously the bomber. I'm thinking the same. Um, yeah, indeed, but. It do you have your scores? I do, yep. Yeah, I've got mine ready. And your reasons? Do you have any some reasons why? I have reasons why, yes, I've got right. it all. So, what have you got? The Hobgoblin. 8.5. 8.5, so yep. I think I was a bit tough on Hob, I only went for a 7. Ooh! So, obviously, 1.5 above me. Yeah. So, we've got. Let's do an overall. So, we've got an 8.5. Because uh, I was thinking about 8, but I thought I'd give it another half. 
The reason I gave it eight and a half is because it is nice and it is quite refreshing. And I could see myself having a nice roast dinner with a nice glass if it was obviously these are room temperature more or less. So I think if it was a lot colder as well, it would be better. The reason I didn't give it ten is because it's very hard to taste the chocolate, which they do say it's on on the box, you know, as well. So that it lost it a point. And then half a point I you know, didn't give it as well was because it's it's a tough one because you can taste the toffee and you can taste the fruitiness in it, within it, but they sort of can clash yeah. if you have too much of it. Nothing can be perfect. No. Even if you could taste it, there'd be ways for them to yeah. improve it, which is probably exactly. working on. Uh, yeah, they are, probably, hopefully. But um, that, that's sort of my reason why I didn't give it full. Right, so overall, uh, 20, I've got a 15.5, so pretty good. Not bad, not bad. Pretty good for the Hobgoblin. So uh, how did you give it a 7? I think for me, let's have a look what it says here. So obviously, chocolate, yeah. couldn't taste. He could taste it a little, and I couldn't taste it at all. Just the toffee, I had to have tiny little sips yeah. to taste it. Uh, I had to pick it apart, which you shouldn't have to do, you should just be able to drink it and taste it. I had to pick it apart like some sort of puzzle. Yeah. Uh, so that's two points gone. Mm. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. On the fruity, yeah. You could taste it, I suppose. Uh, but again, I just took a point off because you know, it's not perfect. Uh, there's, there's ways to improve it. I think yeah. if I had the chocolatiness and a bit more toffee, then they would have perfected it and I could have given it a 10. Yeah. Um, but, on to the bomber. Radio. What did you give for bomber? I gave it 9. Oh. I also gave a nine. There we go. Right. So, um, I'll listen to your reasons. Why. Okay. The reason I gave a nine, was whilst he was looking for paper and pens and stuff, I did have another taste, and I just think it is a nice go-to beer after a long day. It's sunny. It's about four or five p.m. It's been a long day. It's nice and sunny. I think I could see myself. Picking up one of those, having a nice drink, having a nice barbecue with the family. With the pulled pork sandwich. Pulled pork, you know, the works. And I just think it's a, a better go-to because it, it's got a lot of flavour, but I think as well with the pulled pork and it's how it mixes with it. Yeah, we've only had crisps, but I think it will be very... Uh, it will go together very well. tasted that good only with crisps. Yeah. That's the point. Then, basically, yeah. So how is it going to be with an actual... Pool, pool, sandwich. The reason I gave it a nine, you know, was because it didn't, it didn't give the big I am. I'm this, I'm that. You yeah. can taste this, you can taste yeah. that. It told you what you would taste, yeah. and you tasted it. It didn't say oh, you can taste this, this, and you're, this within it. You're gonna taste toffee. Yeah. No, you're fucking not. Just like Hobgoblin said, you're gonna taste toffee. No, you're not. And chocolate. It told you exactly what you're gonna taste. Yeah. It under promised and over delivered. Which is why I'll give it a 9. I don't want to give it a 10 because I think. Well, it, everything can be improved upon. And giving it a 10 just means that, yeah, it's perfect, nothing needs to change. But. I'll give, I'll give it a 9. Because I probably shouldn't have, because you know what, now yeah. I'm going to change it to a 10. That's my reason why I gave it a 9 initially was because I've tasted better craft ales, but they're not in this video. That's true, yeah, fair um, enough, fair enough, yeah. So, I'm going to give it a 10 now, so I've got a 19 out of 20, so it did incredibly well. Yeah. Uh, I think if the, the ales I had tried were in this video, it would have got a 9, or less. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's unfair to, to compete it against something that's not in the video. Uh, yeah, very good point, yeah, I agree. Yeah. So I'll, I, can, I can see why you gave it a 10, yeah. So, 19 yeah. Uh, out of 20 for the Bomber. Uh, for the Hobgoblin, got a 15.5 still. Yep. Not a sore loser. Uh, Definitely a winner. If I had to pick one, it would be the bomber. But yep. if the bomber wasn't in stock, and I'd obviously go for the hog goblin and so on and so forth. Uh, I think once we got past, <laughs> I won't go for that. I think once we got no past these what. two, yeah, uh, sort of. Uh, so once, if these two weren't in, I wouldn't get any of this. This one, I wouldn't get the rest. If I'm honest. 
uh, either over promised or they under delivered or they just weren't up to scratch yeah or <laughs> that's shit. I don't know what happened with that. <laughs> um. Is this a prototype? <laughs> but anyway, that's just our opinion, like. Okay, guys. So, that's our lineup from this lot. Uh, so, obviously, that's the video. Yeah. Uh, it was a fun video to make. Um, obviously, video. you're going to come watch this. You're some expert. Don't don't rip us to shreds in the comments. We're just a couple of guys trying to be. We're not fucking not experts. We're, we're giving our opinion. We're not, not connoisseurs. Yeah, we're not. We're not being paid by these people. We're giving our honest opinions of what we think the best beer in that box was. Yep. <laughs> and how likely we are to go and get it again. Exactly. So, really, two everyday Joes tasting the beer is probably what quite a lot. Of, obviously, people have different tastes, but probably people will feel the same about this or com be completely different. Yeah, think that this, one again, this could be the favourite. That monstrosity might be the favourite. <laughs> if so, they probably don't have fucking taste buds. <laughs> yeah, basically. Honestly, that was just. No. That was the only one I didn't even finish. Fun video to make. Mm -hmm. Well, that's it from us, isn't it? You want to see uh, anything else like this? Uh, then we're going to smash that like button. Anything else you want to recommend? Let us know down below. Down below in the comment tops. Um, Don't forget to subscribe to both our channels. They'll both be linked to the bottom. And at the end of this video. So make sure you press on there and subscribe. Indeed. Uh, and let us know what you think about the setup. We moved it around again. Mm -hmm. um, let us know what ornaments we should get for the table as well. I like it more. It's not cluttered, but it's it's nice. So it's not just plain yeah. plain white background, and plain boring table. That's why we got some bar snacks. We didn't need them, but we thought if we had the bowls on and we were eating whilst we were doing it, it'd give it a more like you're watching real life, not just fucking two people sitting down. Oh, this is nice, this is not nice, this, yeah. this doesn't taste nice. Yeah, exactly, give it a bit more. More sitting here, we're just, sitting there, yeah. we're just having a good time making it. Exactly. Uh, there you go. That's what it's all about. Anyway, that's, that's it from us, guys. All gone. See you later. The cameraman now. <laughs> yeah, turning up for you. Cool.